What's good guys? It's Mike aka Buzz Lightyear here. Gonna bring you some more childhood memories. This time we're gonna be hitting up about the time I was around I think uh, 16, 17 years old and it was the very first time I went out to the desert and got uh, you know a little tipsy with my wife. Now at this point in time in my life we weren't even really dating. We had been friends for a little while but we weren't even dating. We weren't even thinking about dating. So uh, it was it, was, it wasn't the same scenario where, like, right now, I would never leave her. Um, but, okay, so I'm with my buddies. Uh, it's, I think it's me, my boy Chad, our friend Kentucky. He had, uh, his name was Josh. We called him Kentucky. Um, and then our friends Chris and Chris. Then my wife, she had her. I think she had two of her other friends. I could be wrong. So we all went out to the desert, and we're all, like, talking and bullshitting. And at the time, it's weird. The desert wasn't even really the desert at this point in time. It was, like, like I mean, I guess it was, like, there was uh, a big, open, vacant lot of desert. And then, like... I don't know, maybe four blocks away or whatever, there's a little bit of a housing development. It's weird because it's grown so much from, from then because now it's all houses. But uh, yeah, so, you know, we're all partying and I guess maybe someone saw the fire, so they called the cops and, uh, you know, we're all, you know, we're all kind of drunk. Me and my buddy Josh, uh, Kentucky, we were, we were just slamming it back. So we were kind of hammered and what happened was um, the cops were coming and we tried to grab the girls and we tried to make sure we had everybody and we tried to run. But, uh, you know, the girls were so drunk, they wouldn't move. You know, my wife, she kind of just sat down and started crying at the time. She's like, my wa my mom's going to hate me, you know, this and that. And um, her other friend's like, I don't know what to do. She's just so hammered. So we tried to go, but they wouldn't come. We didn't give a fuck. We're just like, whatever, let the cops find them. So we, me and my boys, we kind of bailed. While we were running through the desert, we didn't know what to do. Like, we're, we're like, how do we get around? So we thought we'd make like a little, like, arc, like a kind of like a, we'll go further out into the desert and then make our way back around to the community where we parked our car. So we're kind of waiting, and in the meantime, we can hear the girls like trying to like call us out, and we're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" We're not answering them, you know. We try to bring you, but we heard the girls trying to like call for us, and we're like, "We're not coming because the cops are gonna find them." So the cops ended up finding the girls because the girls were being fucking dumb. So we didn't even notice, but our one we have both two both both of our Chris's there. There's the one that shit on the bed, and then there's the other one that's just his best friend or our best friend. And the one that didn't the one that didn't shit on the bed was missing. We're like, "Where the hell is he?" And we could not find him, so we tried to call him, his phone wouldn't answer. And uh, we were like, alright, whatever, he's he's on his own, if that's what he's gonna do, he's on his own. Watch this part here. Ready? Ready? Triple feed! Hello! <laughs> Ready for this? Ready for this? You want some? Oh, you're gonna camp on the floor? I don't think so! I don't think so! I'm gonna go crazy. I'm dead red right now, but I'm gonna keep pooping. I'm gonna keep pooping! There we go, baby. End round! Alright, so... Yeah, so we called our buddy Chris, couldn't find him, so the one buddy, uh, the one guy that did shit on the bed was with us. It was me, at this point now there's four of us, so we went from five to four. So it's me, Kentucky, Chad, and Chris. And we're just kind of like making our way out for, further to the desert, and then we finally get to the community. And when we get to the community, it's like, uh, like their house is separate, there's like, kind of like the middle of the street, but it's like an alleyway with a, like, I guess you call it like a ravine where water would go. Anyway, so we're there, and we're... We're kind of just waiting them out. We're trying to wait, wait the cops out. And finally, my wife and her girlfriends had gotten caught. So they're trying to call us. And finally, I answered my phone. Because it was like it was like 12.30 and I was supposed to be home by midnight. And my mom was fucking getting so mad. So I answered the phone to the girls. And they're like, you know what? The cops are tired looking for you. If you guys don't come out, they're going to pull the dogs. You know, pull the dogs out. And we're like, oh shit. You know, we didn't really know. We have no idea. So we just believed it for it was. And we, we waited like another 15, 20 minutes. We decided on what to do. And we left. We, we went to the cops. So the cops separate us, and at this time, my wife and her friends have already been sent home. Um, you know, my wife, her mom was like mad as fuck at her, and it was it was really really bad situation. But whatever. So we're sitting on the curb, and the cops separated me, uh, Kentucky, Chad, and Chris. So they separated us, and we're on opposite sides of the street, and it started to rain. It's like sprinkling, and it's cold, and it's it was the funniest thing. I still give Chris the why that shit on the bed. We I give him so much shit to this day. So the cop walks up to him, he's like, alright, he's getting all of our information, I already gave mine, the other guys gave theirs, it's just Chris's turn. So, and Chris had just got his license, and the cop goes, okay, I need to see your ID, please. Chris gets so nervous, he doesn't know what to do. He pulls out his wallet and hands the cop his high school ID. And the cop looks at it and he goes, what the fuck is this? Are you fucking with me? Are you fucking serious? Just starts wreck, wreck, just wrecking Chris, just getting all mad at him, like, are you, are you trying to fuck with me? And Chris is like, oh, 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 you know, I don't, I, I'm so sorry, I didn't, you know, he's just like stuttering, getting all upset, and he's like, uh, he was about to cry and stuff, it was fucking hilarious. And he's like, what, you have a high, you have a driver's license? He's like, yeah, I just had it for a week, I forgot, you know. The cop just wrecked him. I felt, I felt like, I felt like laughing, but you know, it's one of those situations. The peace, dubstep, dubstep. No, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, but yeah, so the cop wrecked on him, and uh, he's just kind of like, okay, whose mom am I going to call? And I'm like, well, you can call my mom, but my mom's already asleep. So my mom really didn't care. She just was like, just get home whenever you can. And uh, I'm like, all right. You know, she, she knew that we were going out there, but she didn't know we were drinking. You know, it was one of those kind of things. Like, she probably figured, but um, yeah, so... My buddy Chad's mom ended up getting called, and she wrecked his ass the entire way home. Just wrecked him, just yelling at him, and I guess even after we left, like, she, she was mad at him when we were in the car, and we were all kind of, like, you know, quiet and didn't know what to say. But it's just one of those things that you don't know what to do, you don't know what to say, so you just kind of, like, you just keep your mouth shut. But, uh, yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to play this guy so bad. He shot the fuck out of me. I'm like, all right, watch this, watch, here it comes. Boom! PP90M1, baby. That's why I love this gun. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of the story. That's pretty much it. Oh, oh, and my buddy Chris that was missing. He ended up getting uh, getting a ride home from some random person. He uh, he he ran in some barbed wire and got himself all bloody, I guess, running through the desert. It was hella funny. Uh, but yeah, so he ended up uh, finding some person, and they were nice enough to give him a ride home. He just told him that basically he wrecked his street bike, and he needed he needed a ride home. So they were really nice to him, and they gave him a ride home. But yeah, if you guys like the story, please do not forget to throw me a thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, you guys, I hope you're all keeping it real. I'll talk to you soon. Peace!